Hey yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG. Finally I managed to set up the tier list for the GT3s and the set of course of competition and first of all, do you, look, do you look like the trim? I did it myself, I, I had to give it the buzz cut. I give it the buzz cut, I feel like a character from, from GTA or something man. I gave it the buzz cut, I cut it all off mate, it was getting out of hand and normally I would go barbers bro. But last time we went barbers, they tried to charge me like £30 or something. I said, hold on a second, £30? Listen, I know the coronavirus has been tough, bro. You're trying to get that funds back in, but nah, cuz. <laughs> like, nah, cuz. For that price, I can't myself. But anyway, guys, I set up my own GT3 tier list. And we're going to go through the cars and we're going to see which cars I think are OP and just basically just way too quick and which cars are just bin juice. So um, let's get stuck into the video, man. You can see we've got all the cars here. Actually, actually, um... I, I did put the Jagger in just because there is no Evo and I feel like, you know, some people might still take the Jagger out, maybe around Mondra or something. Um, I left in the, the old AMG with the new AMG as well because obviously the, the old AMG is still pretty quick around some tracks. So I thought um, I'm just going to go for the cars that generally are getting used at the moment. <clears throat> so let's get stuck into it, man. I kind of, I kind of don't want to start off with the Ferrari Evo because it's just, you know, I want to... Let's let's start off with 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 the Jag. I'm I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna drop the Jag in the bin juice <laughs> because apart from Monza, I don't really I don't really see. There's no future in this car. It's just it's just done. Okay, it's not it's not fast at any other track apart from Monza. I don't think anyway. Um, no one. I don't really see that many people use it. I know Gold Tours. He's 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 pulled it out a couple of times and. I think I see, I think I see Jade do a race in it not too long ago, and I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it sounds great. To me, best sounding car in the game, but, um, yeah, just, there's just nothing there, lads. There's nothing there. Um, what should we look at next? And um, of course, I was going to do this tier list earlier, but then the, the update came out, which kind of, um, you know, it messed around with the BOP a little bit. I think the BOP is a lot better now, so it's going to be pretty tough to, to rank all the cars, especially I haven't driven all of them. <clears throat> recently so um, let's go let's go to I'm gonna do the Lambo um, now for me look it <clears throat> yeah for me I would say the Lambo <sighs> You know, some people say this car is is, is up there. I just, I, I, for me, I just don't feel it, mate. I, I just, to me, it's, it's a good car, but in, in race trim, you know, unless you're just a complete alien, it always seems to, to, to slip back. It's not right at the forefront. Um, it's between very fast and, and decent on some tracks, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it on decent on some tracks, but I ain't gonna lie. I would put it in very fast. Cause it, it can be but um i just feel like you don't see many guys winning races in lambos bro oh yeah but anyway let's move on let's go to the let's do the old amg and i would probably i still think it's a very fast car man i'll be real like what, what what is the difference between the the old the old AMG and the new one, bro? It's very close. I think I actually I think I used my my I think I used the old AMG for my AOR stint actually. Found it to be a little bit quicker than the new one. That might just be me. I'm not too sure. Is it is it faster than the Lambo Evo? I w I would probably say that the the old AMG has more tracks where it's quicker than, than the Lambo has. I can think of some poor tracks for the for the AMG, Kiel Army. Um it's not that great at Nürburgring. Where else does it struggle? No. This this is close. I'm gonna pull it decent on some tracks, but I'm gonna pull it still ahead of the Lambo man. I think it's ahead of the Lambo. Um, <clears throat> let's go to the Nissan GTR, which has been buffed recently in the, in the, in the new patch. And I think Mike Noble actually won the first round of ACR around Donington in this car. So 
I'm not I'm not I'm not actually too sure about the, the Nissan. I know it's been buffed at a lot of tracks and um you know, a lot of people are saying that the car's up there, which is decent now. But obviously I've only seen the one example which was Mike Noble's win. I'm gonna stick it. Is it is it quicker than the Lambo? Can we say that the Nissan TTR is officially now quicker than the Lambo? I don't know if I can say that. I need to see more proof. I'm going to drop it decent on some tracks for now. Um, let's go with... Hmm, what should we go with next? I'm going to go with the BMW M6. I'm going to go with the BMW M6 now. This car, I've seen it with, with Nils now jokes. He's been flying in this car. Honestly, I feel like that's as much about the driver as it is about the car, you know? And I mean, Spa is good. I heard it's got a, a decent BOP around the British GT tracks, but just don't see enough people in it, man. I just don't see it. I think, don't get me wrong, the car feels pretty nice to drive, but it's just, mate, it's average, okay? <laughs> like, I'm putting it on average, bro. Like, I don't care. Apart from Nils, I don't see anyone doing anything in this car. So I'm going to put it straight down in the average pile. I might be wrong. And again, this is just my opinion. You guys should definitely, um, I might actually leave the, the link to this tier list in the description so you guys can make your list and maybe chuck it in my Discord so I can see what you guys have picked and the order you guys have picked. But yes, now we're going to move on to the Exus. Again, very confusing car at the minute because it was super fast before. It was super fast in the rain. And, and I'm, I'm judging everything, man. I'm judging what the car's like in race pace, what the car's like in quality pace, what the car's like in the rain. And um, in the rain, the car definitely suffered, bro. Suffered. I still feel like it's pretty quick in the dry, super fast down the straights. Um... I would say maybe this car and the, and the Nissan are pretty close now. I would, I would put the Lexus ahead. GTR. Um, and that's only because I don't have the proof of what the GTR can do. Regular basis, man. Um, I still find the Lexus is fast, bro. Like I drove it. It's very stable. Very drivable car. Probably not the best on the brakes, which is the thing that lets it down the most. But I... I think the Lexus is pretty decent, man. I think it's pretty decent. Is it going to be a car that challenges for race wins when you're like challenging the top 1% on the game? I know about that. But it's definitely a nice car to drive pretty damn quick. Um, next, we go with... Let's go with something, let's go with something spicy. Let's go with the Aston me right now the aston is up there i'm gonna I'm 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 drop it straight in the very fast super quick in the in the rain i know it did get i think it got a little bit of a nerf around some of the tracks but still the aston is definitely extremely drivable great front end um i think they fixed a lot of the problems that the car had in terms of like just the acceleration was so like dumbed down i feel like the car's pretty nice to drive man and um Nice on tyres, as I said before, fast in the rain. It's not really too much negatives to even say about the Aston, man. It's just a, a good car. And we're going to hit up the, the NSX Evo. Jeez! Now, listen, I jumped in this car the other day, and no word of a light, bro. I, I couldn't do a lap, bro. I couldn't do a lap. Um, And I think the car, I think the car is good, man. I think the car is good, but... It's one of them cars that takes a lot of work, man. Sort of like the BMW. To get that car quick, it takes work. Not easy. Get it quick and consistent. You already know it's like super fast at some tracks. Is it better than the M6? Ah, uh, no. See, the problem is it does have a track where it's just a beast. We know it's a beast at Bathurst and stuff, right? But... You know, when you weigh up the average of a whole season, if you're in the if you're in the Honda over a course of a season, and you're racing. <clears throat> say you're racing a bunch of people that's on your level. Are you going to be able to dominate in the Honda? I don't know. 
It's, it's hard to put a car in average when I've seen I've seen guys do stuff. I've seen Joe McCauley go quick. I've seen Deckers go quick. I feel like I'm going to drop it decent on some tracks, bro. Some people might complain and say, how's that ahead of the BMW? I, listen, I've seen more people in the Honda recently than the BMW. I see one guy in the BMW. That's it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to drop that shit right there. Right. Now it's, now it's getting juiced. Now it's getting juicy. The McLaren. I think right now the McLaren is up there. The like one of the most used cars at the moment. I'd even put the McLaren ahead of the uh, of the Aston because I feel like the McLaren has been pretty good most tracks, but it still has that standout track where it's just dominant. Silverstone. I don't feel like the Aston has a track where it's just completely dominant compared to everything else. Maybe only when the, the rain comes down and stuff like that, but I feel like at Silverstone, the McLaren is a beast. I um, think it got nerfed at Paul Ricard because it was a beast at Paul Ricard as well. And listen, man, this car is close to being OP. McLaren's a joke. <laughs> Super fast. Uh, it's, funnily enough, it's not really my type of car, man. I did use it for the, for the ACR time trial at spa and i was pleasantly surprised man um, great aero can carry a lot of speed for the corners but i don't know it's just something about it that's just not for me personally but i've seen people just blitzing the field in this car recently so um it's, it's definitely up there um not much more i can say about them clarin it's just just it's just a, it's a beast I feel like if, if BOP wasn't a thing, I feel like the McLaren would destroy everything. Just look at the thing. You know what I mean? This car looks low-key like it, it should be an LMP or some shit. Um, moving on now to my favourite car in the game. Y'all know I love the Bentley, kid. See, the Bentley's a difficult one, bro. It's a difficult one. I'll tell you why. The Bentley's a difficult one because I don't believe, like, outright quality pace, it's as fast as some of the other cars. But in the race, bro... In the race i feel like the bentley is up there i think it's great on tires good round fast corners it doesn't i mean it does it does it has a couple of bad tracks but you know it's very drivable great over curbs and i never feel like i'm gonna make a mistake in the bentley like when you drive some of the other cars you feel like bro if, if i get a just a little piece of rear damage or tires go i feel like i'm dead Bentley, like, you know, it's, I did a race around Zanvo once in the Bentley and my tire pressures were like 28.5, just way too high for like the whole race. And still managed, I didn't even, I didn't even nearly bin it. You know what I mean? So, it's tough, man. It's tough. They go in a very fast pile, facing prowess. Or does it go in the decent or some tracks, but right at the top? Would you even say the Bentley's better than the old AMG though? I feel like the old AMG is ju has just as many good tracks as the Bentley to be honest. I don't even know. I'm going to have to review this. I'm going to have to review it afterwards, man. But right now I'm going to drop the Bentley here. I don't think it is as fast as say a McLaren or Aston over a lap. But in the race, I feel like it can compete. But we, we are here with the juiciest of juicy of cars. But I'm going to drop the Audi in next. This, this, hey. This car, bro, listen, I've got problems, man. I used this car and it just felt tragic. And I know, I don't, I think it got nerfed a couple of patches ago and it's been buffed again. I'm not sure where the car stands. I drove it myself and I struggled with it, man. But this used to be a car that I was like confident in. You know? It used to be a car that I just thought, this car is just rapid. But. I ain't been feeling it recently, bro. Like, I know it's fast. I've seen people do crazy times in it. But I feel like in the race, you, you have like a little, you know, you have a little slide and overheat the tires a bit. Bro, it's just so hard to get this car back. You know what I mean, it's very easy to bin. It's not great over curbs. <laughs> it's just, I feel like it's not that easy to deal with in the race if you're if your setup's not quite on point, then you're going to find out about it, man. Um, but I would say, I think the Audi's stronger than the Lambo. 
just going off of my general experience, I am definitely quicker in the Bentley than I am in the Audi. You know, can I put it above the the, the Bentley? I mean, I see other people, you know, doing extremely fast times in it, but again, that's around certain tracks. I'm gonna go with how I feel at the moment. I'm not gonna base it on myself. I would say there's probably more people quicker in the Audi than there is in the Bentley. I'm gonna put it right at the top of decent on some tracks, almost close to very fast. But I feel like these three cars left are quicker. The Ferrari, the Ferrari Evo. Now I'm aware it got nerfed because before it got nerfed, bro, I'm not gonna lie, it was going straight up here, mate. <laughs> straight up here. But I've seen it's been slowed down a little bit. Um, it's right there with the McLaren and the, the Aston. And I feel like the Ferrari doesn't really have a weak track. It's like good everywhere. Gives you a chance everywhere. Good in all conditions. The only real problem it has is just not great over curbs. And the fuel efficiency is pretty rough in the Ferrari. So uh, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a say it's top of very fast right now. Hey, slightly over the McLaren. It's close, but it's extremely close with all the cars. In that tier um let's go to amg evo Ooh. amg evo there's actually been a few complaints about this car man i know johnny wasn't that happy with the car i just feel like it's one of them cars bro it's when you get the setup right it's a joke rapid great over curbs it's got in like best traction control in the game both the amgs insane don't even lose that much time in the rain though it, bro i'm not gonna lie front engine cars apart from the aston in the rain bro struggling crew you have to definitely work on your setup man you gotta figure some stuff out to get them cars working in the rain i put it in the very fast category i've got to because I, I know there's so much unlocked potential in that car and you see the guys who are just used to driving it they are flying definitely very Last car on the list is the Porsche 991 Evo. Now, I am aware this car got a big nerf before. And it's been buffed, but I feel like still I have to drop it in the OP section. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I know it hasn't got like it's not, it's definitely not as OP as it was before. But I feel like the Porsche has quite a few tracks where it's very fast. And in the Porsche tracks where it's fast, it's like nothing else can even get close, bro. And I feel like the only other car that has a track like that is probably the, the, the McLaren at, at Silverstone. But with the Porsche, when it's good at a track, bro, you literally cannot get anywhere near. <laughs> okay, you can't do nothing. Like Malinowski at Alton Park, he won the race by like 44 seconds, bro. He's in a field of very fast drivers. I feel like, you know, Alton Park, it seems super quick at Snetterton, unless it's been patched. Uh, Guna, it was a joke. You know what I mean? So I feel like it's got them tracks where it's li literally, literally the only car worth giving a damn. Before before the patches, I mean, it, it, same at Kialami, it was rapid. Uh, Erbergring, it was rapid. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's OP, but it's not, it's not crazy op i'm gonna say it's slightly op it also does have bad tracks um where it's just not that quick but i believe it got buffed at some of them tracks i believe now it's a it's a contender at, at spa so i'm gonna stick the porsche in the op section man let's just let's just go through these and just see if i'm if i'm happy with this bro listen i low-key to me there's not much difference between the old amg and the new one there isn't old AMG is slower than that, that I don't even know if I agree with that my damn self bro. slower than the Bentley see because the Bentley what the Bentley has is is very good around fast corners and feels pretty nice under braking and it's stable but I feel like there's an equal amount of stability 
in the AMG. It's got the straight line speed. It's also great over curbs. Oh man, I think it's... We're going off of if you can actually drive these cars to their maximum. If you can drive each of these cars to their maximum, is the old AMG quicker than the Bentley? I would probably say yes. We're talking about each car being drove at its absolute maximum around the whole track list. Which cars would come out on top? Hey, it's tough. It is tough. I feel like the very fast category, bro. They're all so close, man. They are all so close. And again, it, it you know it, it does come down a lot to the driver. We've seen if it if it was if I was basing this just off, off of Nils, then the BMW would be in the very far. But I feel like if you were to put Nils in some of the other cars, I feel like he'd be quicker than he is in the BMW. Make that make that out as you will. Uh, I mean, some people might disagree with this list. As I said, I'm going to leave the leave the link for this list below the video, um, and then you guys just send me on Discord what your what your picks are, man. But for me, bro, bro, I feel like this this list is okay, man. I feel like it's okay. I'm not convinced with the Audi though. I have to be real. I have to be real. The Audi better than the old AMG. Either. Not Evo, the old AMG. I oh, no. And I'm just trying to think of the tracks where it would destroy the AMG. See, because there's tracks where the old AMG would destroy the Audi. I'm trying to think of the tracks where the Audi would destroy the AMG. We'd probably say Nürburgring, Kiel Army. Definitely. M2 tracks, the Audi has it over the AMG. But then you say Monza is a definite. The Audi's getting destroyed. Destroyed. See that AMG's probably quicker around Zolder. It's close, man. It's, it's incredibly close. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it slightly to the Audi. Slightly. Just because. Maybe it's, it's got slightly better tracks, but then old AMG around Suzuka is still quick. It's, uh, bro, it's, it's too close to cool. Too close to cool. Because I see more people driving the Audi than the Audi. Just going to give it to the Audi. But either way, that, that could be a toss up either way. And to be honest, with, with the, like, the Nissan and stuff like that, as I said, I haven't seen enough people in it to, to warrant it moving up the list anymore. But sure it is quicker than what i'm saying at the moment very fast pile so it's just a, for me it's a toss-up between especially the top three but like the amg again it has some weak tracks but it also has some daily strong track i feel like the ferrari is probably the best all-rounder Aaron very close hmm yeah i'm happy i'm happy with that list guys man i am happy with that list I'm happy. I'm not touching anything more. I will leave this list down in the description below so you guys can try it out. Um, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys tear this. Drop it in my Discord, which I'll also leave down below. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Scripted TMG. Peace.